All right. In five, four, three. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Brad down here in the RPO BMX lab in Pennsylvania, and it is hot here. It's July here. I'm sure it's July wherever you're at, um, too, so it's probably hot. Uh, I do know it's the rainy season in Japan, so that kind of sucks for them because they have the heat and the rain. So anyway, I'm here because I wanted to let you guys know about the last giveaway. And I did a six out of six and the sixth person to uh, order $75 or more from my shop got a free Colt toolkit. And I don't have one to show you because I sold out of the last three of them in the last week, ironically. And the winner was Joey F. from Michigan. But ironically, Joey bought a toolkit from me the week before he won that and was kind enough to allow me to give him a t-shirt. And I pushed the winner to the next person, which was Mike S. from west palm beach so mike got the toolkit he should have it already i already talked to him he goes by uh, mike six on the internet s-i-x-x if you want to give him a follow but congratulations mike <laughs> told me he never wins anything i said I'm sure a lot of people know how you feel on that one but today i'm doing a quick revisit i'm doing the fit shortcut this is currently for sale right now. It ships anywhere in the U.S. for $775. It's a very nice bike, and I'm just going to do a quick run-through because this edit was mostly about the giveaway. The next, I'm going to try to get you guys some more edits um, with some like prime components and some of like the super cool stuff you guys like to see. But in this one, I just thought this would be a fun one for summer. And uh, I don't know if anybody has a girlfriend that, you know, loves bubblegum pink or if you do, because I like the color. And I also have it in a few options. This, this is like the most expensive option, I would say. It has the three piece 48 spline cranks on it and 170. Whereas if you don't want to spend like the full amount, I can always throw on uh, the same nine, same uh, size bottom bracket uh, cinch cranks, which are less expensive and really do the trick. If the handlebars, these are nine inch foo bars, they are uncut with some uh, sky blue mic holder grips and Odyssey par ends. These are the nines. and if you like rocking the big bars with a front load stem because the rise isn't as high, I will gladly throw on the 10 inch pink foo bars. And if four piece bars aren't for you, I also have a pair of these are the Merit team bars. They're also, you know, definitely lighter than the SM foo bars. The foo bars are like a straight, the foo bars are a straight gauge chrome molly. Straight gauge chrome molly means that it is, an, it is not butted. What butted means is that it's thicker in certain parts of the handlebar where there is more stress. That is why you will find um, that steel um, tubing handlebars tend to be much heavier than butted handlebars. And you have like all kinds of different ways you can make them lighter, but butting is the main way. So that you can definitely tell uh, the difference in weight. I'd say it's might have felt like a, I got bad wrist, so I don't even want to say, but it's at least a pound. So you do got your foobar lovers. And also I do have a set of brakes that does come with this as well. So we definitely have space for the lever. It's an Odyssey lever and a Springfield kit that comes with it and the brake mounts are on it. So let's get into the build. I recently was <clears throat> looking at some of the bikes I had for sale and I was like, you know what? I want to make all the bikes that like the custom ones I sell, they have to be like valid for me to ride. Now, even though these have an OEM fork on them, I like this bike. Like I have fun riding this bike. It's a 20.75 V1 shortcut. Um, I am about 5'8", 5'8 and a half. So it's perfect size for me. 
I it it um I believe the forks the forks are from the Brian Foss from the 2014 Brian Foster Complete series. So they are an OEM fork. However, they were barely ridden and they look fantastic. So those went on here. They have a compression bolt on top. I threw an FSA one on here. And with this front load, uh, because this is such a short responsive frame, by that I mean the back end is 12.4 inches, which is which for the chain stay, which is very short, average is over 13. Um, these uh, forks are 28 millimeter offset, and the stem is a 53 millimeter um, reach. So I do have a animal highliner cap on here. So I'm not going to kind of say, oh, well, that's 22 millimeter rise and 53 millimeter reach because the rise all will all depend on your headset, how you want to run your headset, whether you cut your forks. There's tons of different sized headsets. I'll go over that sometime, but this is your basic uh, tall boy headset right here, this animal one. So with that, I like to run the tall with a uh, front load and I was also able to run the nine inch handlebars and they're comfortable. They feel good. I jack the seat up a little bit and, and I enjoy it. The cranks are not too long. 165s might be a little more comfortable or 160s maybe for someone who doesn't want to quite have as much bend in their knees and just want to use this as a cruiser. But if you want to shred on this thing, it's also ready to go. Uh, let's get into some more of the parts. I was talking about the stem. This is an Odyssey CFL2 stem. Uh, CFL stands for Classic Front Load. They currently have a V3 stem as well. It's also a Classic Front Load. The only difference is it has oversized bolts. I threw some new bolts in here actually, steel ones. And I might say I kind of prefer the look of the smaller bolts. I'm sure the larger ones are a little stronger, but I like the look of the smaller ones. They look a little cleaner, kind of fit in there a little, little, little more nicely, I guess. And like I said, we have the nine inch FU bars, Charlie Crumlish with the crew. They were nice. S and M was nice enough to send me one of the uh, nine inch uh, Foo stickers to throw on there. And these bars were brand new and really nice. Um, Let's get to the seat and post. We have a white S&M slim pivotal seat and a stolen tuner pivotal post. The stolen tuner, some of stolen stuff I really like, uh, such as this uh, seat post. I know I've talked about their low pro rims already, but the tuner seat post has these little um, markings etched in it. So you, if you're as inattentive as I am about your bike, you're, you'll like this because you can kind of set the seat right directly at one of those lines. Or if you want to cut it down, you can also cut it down where one of those marks is etched out, just kind of like on some handlebars and forks that have some of the lining already marked in them. Okay, and it's very lightweight, by the way. It's their Thermalite tubing. The seat, white, I know it's tough to keep clean, but I also have the other option of the Sunday party seat. I have pictures of that one too that you can also uh, swap this one out for if you like. Moving, uh, yeah, I talked about the forks, OEM forks with basic compression top cap. However, it kind of works just like a regular top cap. I tightened it down all the way. Headset seems to fit perfectly and it spins beautifully, as you can see. All right, let's move this guy around a little bit. Well, yeah, we'll show you, show you the rest later, but <clears throat> okay. So we'll go to the drivetrain real quick. We have Eastern throttle cranks, cinema CK pedals, Chad Curley's signature pedal, nice big, uh, block pedal, a little wider, um, profile than I like, but if you're a pedal grinder, you're good. These cranks are also awesome uh, budget crank if you can't stand the sight of cinch cranks, kind of like I can't. And so I had to throw these on here. Didn't really change the price too much. Um, 
and they just look so much nicer. There's a, they're 170 millimeters, 19 millimeter bottom bracket, three piece crank, and they just, they have a real clean look. They don't look like they're going to tear up your uh, ankles too much. And if they do, you could probably dremel this down. Um, they're very, they're lightweight also, and I haven't broken them. So I'm going to say they're probably as strong as like profile GHD cranks. I know that's a reach, but I haven't seen these break yet. And I've seen a bunch of the profiles, so not hating on profile. I do like profile, but true story there. So anyway, moving on sprocket. This is an old shadow conspiracy, 25 tooth ravager sprocket. It came in the notepad yellow color and friend of mine who really likes to polish things we it was part of a trade polished it i had the cult nwo sprocket on there but it just like didn't look right it didn't feel right I, I don't really like mixing cult and fit products anyway but it was just too much black in one area so he rec recommended this he had a blue chain that he doesn't use because he likes black so kind of hooked it up here with uh, the decals and the color let's get to the wheels which are very nice in the back um this rim i can't think of what it is it's a very nice rim it's great for brakes it's double walled very strong and it's good enough that i i laced it to an ecaw cortex free coaster hub which is a very nice free coaster i rode this a while ago for a little while on a tall boy and then I took it off and I laced up an, a dynamic e -Claw dynamic V2. As you can see, it has a little bit of hop in it, but it's probably because the rim's a little older, but it is a nice rim and it does run very smoothly. The pedals also, I have the chain a little tight at the moment, but easy to, you know, adjust for uh, crank flips and it does not have too much slack. Then again, you probably don't want to get this for your girlfriend if it's got a free coaster because she could probably break her jaw when she goes to a pedal and it's not there. But I'd say about two, three inches of slack, which is perfect. And this thing weighs in at 26 pounds. I weighed it just before, um, just before this. It weighs just under 26 pounds. Comes with two fit PVC pegs. They are pre-owned but I bought brand new sleeves for them so you will get some pegs with this bike and you can also request request the brakes the front wheel is a sun rims rhino light which is also a very nice rim it's welded it's just it's a it's kind of it's a little more narrow it's I want to say maybe 34 mil 32 millimeters wide 34 millimeters it's not not one of the super wide ones like a lot of the rims of today but I do like it. It is lightweight. I have I laced up a Primo N4FL hub to this and threw on some of the old school Primo alloy hub guards. So if you have any Primo N4FL hubs and you want some alloy hub guards for it, I have them in white and I have them in black. They look pretty sick. They take the place of the new aluminum and uh, plastic nylon ones that they have that just kind of like grind away after your first grind. So it's a pretty sturdy wheel. Front tire is a Colt uh, 2.4 uh, Vans tire. And the back one is a 2.35 Brian Foster F or Merit FT1 Brian Foster signature tire. The I chose these tires. They go together because if you do want to run brakes, they work really well. They're great for all terrains. I know this is pretty much a setup for a, you know, like a trick, trick bike and is great for jibbing around, but I think it's also, you know, good enough to cruise around on for, uh, for anyone, to be honest, of really a lot of sizes. I mean, I've seen guys six over six foot riding 20.75s comfortably. And like I said, we got, got different uh, size handlebars too. So let me give you guys a close up. I'm gonna take a look. I changed the tires a few different times, but I landed on these because I think they just kind of 
give it the best aesthetic look to it. I know the bottom bracket doesn't match perfectly, but I'm not perfect. Uh, as for the frame, I will run down some more of the specs real quick. It has like a, it has an 8.75 standover, 12.4 uh, back end with chain tensioners, double gussets in the front, integrated uh, seat post clamp, and cupped bottom bracket bearings. It has an S bend chain stay so it doesn't have one of the yokes that the i believe the v2 may have but i don't know if it matters the dropouts are they're like the six mil they're six millimeter laser cut dropouts i have them i have a push pretty far uh, almost all the way back in the dropout i have about a millimeter of the bolt coming out which to me is more than plenty to um, give it just the max stability that I can give it because it is such a short frame. So like I said, this thing is going for 775 now. If that's too much, I also do layaway for parts, builds, do custom builds for people. Shout out to uh, Joey in Michigan who's doing a custom build. Shout out to TJ who just rocked his uh, new trail boss with uh, some of the, some new old stock demolition stuff he grabbed from me. And and a lot of these guys, man. Jake Dell. Sorry, Jake. Just gave him your government. Brian F. And uh, Dan B. And uh, Mikey Six, the winner of the cult, give, cult Toolkit giveaway. So I'm going to think of my next giveaway. And hopefully I can get another the nerve to get another one of these videos done in within the week and let you guys know what the giveaway is going to be. I was thinking of revisiting my um, S&M ATF because the last time I did a bike check with that was a long time ago and it's I added some really cool stuff to it and I hate to do the same bikes over and over. So I'm going to see what new I can get and see if I can get some guys in here to uh, do some bike checks of their own. So I'll give you guys a little up close of this and then I'm going to get out of here. There's your S&M Foo Bars, nine inch rise on cut wide boys, Odyssey classic front load stem, Animal Highline headset, fit OEM forks, there's the CFL FSA compressor. We have the Rhino lights. That's what the alloy looks like. I have a little hub duster in there. It keeps the hubs clean. There's your cranks. Very clean looking crank. And your coaster. And that's what I was talking about on the post. Let me show you, see if we can show you the sprocket. Oh, by the way, I did these graphics on my own. So feel free to rip them right off. Sprocket. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope I didn't bore you to death. Subscribe or not. Peace.